In this case, I'd like to demonstrate how you do a safe capsular excess in a patient with an intumescent cataract. At first, obviously, you need a good visibility of the anterior capsule, so it's important that you end up staining the capsule really well. So take a little extra time to let the blue dye actually uniformly stain the anterior capsule. I move on to showing you this case now. This is a patient who presents to you with an intumescent cataract, a small pupil. And I just like to demonstrate the technique of a capsular excess, which I find really works for me. So this is the patient with a small pupil and intumescent cataract. You do know that your initial steps of your incisions need to be bang on because you don't want difficulty in instrumentation thereafter. Take your time to evenly stain the anterior capsule. It's very important to do so to aid your visibility in getting it right. After which you need to deepen the chamber with a heavy duty, a cohesive viscoelastic which gives you the flattening of the anterior capsule. The pupil is being stretched with a stretched pupiloplasty. And when I start the rexis, I make a tiny circular rexis first. This results in decompressing the bag. And now once more when I make an outward nick and grab hold of the capsule with the rexis forceps, I don't have any forces anymore within the lens. And thus I'm able to control the rexis extremely well with a very less propensity of it running out into the periphery.